guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've just got a short little video um, for you talking about my eyebrows. Wait a minute, let me degrease my face. I'm super oily, it's so hot today. And my mascara is like putting little spots onto my eyes. So anyway, if you follow me on Instagram or even just YouTube, you guys will probably remember how thin and sparse my eyebrows used to be. Back in the day when I was younger, naturally I had super thick, well not super thick, but fairly thick eyebrows. I'll insert a picture here for you so you can actually see. They were thick enough eyebrows and I didn't like them like that. So back then it was cool to have really, really like pencil thin eyebrows. So I used to pluck my eyebrows like mad into a thin straight line. Now my mom told me not to do this because she did the same thing when she was a teenager and her eyebrows never grew back. But of course you never listen to your mom until it's too late, do you? So I was like, not gonna take her advice on board. So I was just happily plucking away at my eyebrows until eventually like maybe seven years ago, no more than that actually. Like uh, maybe yeah, seven years ago, they just stopped growing back. So I was left with like the thinnest line of hairs for eyebrows. And I realized that I wanted my original thick eyebrows back, but by that stage I'd already destroyed them and they weren't coming back. So obviously I stopped plucking them. I didn't touch them for years. I tried coconut oil to make them grow back. I tried castor oil to make them grow back. I bought like lash serums and put them on my eyebrows trying to make them grow back and absolutely nothing worked whatsoever. I even tried shaving my eyebrows because you know when you shave your legs, it seems like the hair grows back thicker and darker. I was like, if it works for my legs, it's gonna work for my brows. So I literally would shave off my eyebrows and I looked like an alien. I remember Darren came home from work one day and I was just sitting on the lounge with no eyebrows and the look on his face was absolutely priceless. He got the biggest shock of his life. He's like, what have you done? So anyway, that was a mistake because my eyebrows did not grow back thicker and longer and darker. They just like were gone for a little while. Oh God, guys, it's really hot. I'm drinking um iced green tea. Quite refreshing, really. So anyway, um, I kind of gave up on even growing my eyebrows back and I tried getting them cosmetic tattooed on and I tried that three times and I would not recommend that to anybody. If you want to hear a video on my cosmetic eyebrow tattooing experience, then tell me in the comments down below and I'll film that for you because don't do it guys, don't do it. So anyway, once I realized that I was not going to have my eyebrows properly tattooed on and they weren't growing back, I started Googling other ways to get my eyebrows to grow back and I will get into that now. So what I read was that people were saying that like Retin-A with that serum that bald men use on their heads will help to grow your eyebrows back. So what bald men usually use on their heads, I think is called like Rogaine. There's a lot of different brands, but Rogaine was the one that I was looking at. And that seemed to have really good reviews. People were saying that by mixing a retinol or retin-A with like the hair growth treatment, their eyebrows were growing back. So I went to the chemist near my house, which is Priceline for all you Aussies out there. And I asked the woman behind the counter if I could get Rogaine. And she was like, oh, do you want minoxidil? Minoxidil. <laughs> do you want minoxidil instead? Which is cheaper and it's just the no-name version, basically, of the active ingredient in Rogaine. So I said yes, and I took it home, and this is it. So it's called minoxidil, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the active ingredient that is in hair growth serums for bald men. So what it says on it, it is 5% minoxidil, topical application hair regrowth treatment for men and women. So the way it says to use it is, for the treatment of hereditary hair loss in men and women, you may need to use minoxidil for at least four months before you seek any results. To improve and maintain hair growth, continued use is required. It says apply a dose of one mil twice daily to dry scalp. In the area of hair loss, do not use more than this and do not use on other parts of the body. Massage the solution into the scalp gently with fingers and wash hands when finished. See insert for further information. <sighs> right. So clearly I haven't followed the rules of that at all because I've been applying it to my eyebrows. But this is what people were suggesting to do online, which is definitely always safe. So I've been using minoxidil for a good, like, when did I start using it? September, October, probably around October. So we're in March now, October, November, December, January, February, March, five months. And this eyebrow is doing spectacularly, spectacularly. This one is coming along nicely, but this one always was my bad brow. So this one was always like the uglier sister. So this one is growing back slowly but surely, but really patchily. So I'll get like a tuft here, a tuft here, and then nothing in the middle. 
Whereas this one's coming along really nicely. And today, all I used to fill in my brows was this It Cosmetics Super Skinny Pencil and literally Gimme Brow just to brush the hairs into place because I actually have hairs now. So the way I apply my Minoxidil is I get my Retin-A, where if I put it here, my Retin-A, you have to get this from a doctor or a dermatologist. Um, this is prescription medication, you can't get it otherwise, and if you can get it, don't. Make sure you see a doctor first because it's very, very strong. So what I use is Stigma A Cream um, Tretinoin USP 1.0 milligrams. And it's 0.1%. If that means anything to you guys, it doesn't mean much to me. I don't really understand skincare. It's definitely not my forte, but I use this on my face most nights to try and um, like shrink my pores and get rid of the oiliness and help improve my skin texture. <sighs> so anyway, online it said that if you use this first and then this over the top, the two in conjunction with each other will actually help speed up your eyebrow hair growth, which I found to be true. So the way this works, um, I think it like thickens your skin from underneath or something like that. If you guys know what I'm trying to explain, just please say in the comments down below. And guys, if I'm making no sense, check the comments because other people will know more than me. But because that thins the surface layer of skin and thickens the one underneath, somehow it pushes your eyebrows through. That's probably completely wrong, but that's how I see it anyway. So I apply this at night onto my face and my eyebrows, and then I get a little Q-tip and I get a little bit of liquid. It's just like a watery liquid and I massage it into my brows. Oh, my mascara. Why are you doing this to me? Right, back to topic. So I massage it into my eyebrows and then I get a tissue and I just like fold it in half and I dab off the excess so that the excess doesn't run into my eyes or any parts of my skin that I don't want it to be on. So because it was working so well for me, I got two bottles of this, two bottles of this come in the one pack in Australia. And um, obviously my mom has no eyebrows either because she did the same thing as me. So I gave my mum one bottle of this and I was like, you have to use this religiously. Please use it every night and you will grow your eyebrows back. And she was like, meh, I'll give it a try. She doesn't really care too much. Like she's not very concerned with her appearance. But um, anyway, she took it home. And then a couple of weeks later, I was raving about my eyebrow growth to her. And I was like, have you started using yours? And she said that she researched minoxidil and discovered that it is not approved by some kind of government organization or something like that. And she's like, I'm not using it. I don't know what's in it. It could have horrible side effects. It might be poisonous, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, she's not using it. Um, and I would advise you guys to check with your doctor because I obviously have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm just using this because it's like, I don't know. I'm just trying to grow my eyebrows back. But I would definitely recommend you check with your doctor before you start using it because I suppose at the end of the day, it is a kind of drug. So definitely check with a healthcare authority because I am not a healthcare authority. But I'm going to tell you, it probably took me about three months to actually see new little hairs sprouting up. And those new little hairs were super thin. So you could only see them if you were really looking, but they were there nevertheless. Side effects that I've noticed from using minoxidil is definitely that it's very, very harsh and drying on the skin. So my eyebrows, even now, I've been using it for so long, and yet my eyebrows, if I use it for at least two nights in a row, will start peeling. Like the skin underneath, if I get a spoolie, this sounds really gross, if I get a spoolie or something like that and brush my brow hairs, the skin underneath will like come off in little flakes. Gross, but true. And I do not know what other side effects it may have because I haven't got any other side effects that I know of anyway. One tip I do have, like if you're trying to grow your eyebrows back, I recommend you tint them. So either go and get them professionally tinted or just buy that 1000 hour lash tinting stuff and do it yourself at home, that's what I do. I just have a dark brown eyelash eyebrow tint and you get a little spoolie with it and you just brush the tint through your eyebrows, leave it on for 10 minutes or something like that and then wash it off and those little tiny fine hairs will actually stand out a lot more and your brows will look naturally fuller. So that's really all I have to say on that matter. That's all I've been doing to regrow my brows. I've also been eating a super healthy vegan pescatarian, was pescatarian, now I'm vegan um, diet. And I think that definitely helps because I've noticed my hair is growing much faster. My nails are strong and thick. Um, thick nails? No, they're just strong. I think it could probably help with eyelash and eyebrow growth as well. If your body's healthy, obviously you're not gonna be losing very much hair. Remember, make sure you check with a doctor because I'm not a doctor. This is prescription, so you need a doctor for that. And also this is a drug because it's from the chemist. So definitely check with someone that knows about this kind of stuff. That is not me.
If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. I upload at least three videos per week. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.